Hi, I'm RJ Straw, aka Young Shepherd, owner of RJ Securities and Barnalarm.com. Welcome to Videocast 11. Today is turnout day. Note in this video that the Codsworth are in full fleece. That is because we turned them out before we shared them. We turned out the Maniacs first, then we turned out the Codsworth. And they were all very happy to, they all went running around and playing and getting, trying to find the greenest spot in the pasture to eat. Which I thought was funny to watch. And they all, never of them, none of them ever went to the very corner of the pasture. I don't think any of them did. Then we turned Juno and Charlie out. They went, and they went running and playing. I don't think they've ever been in a pen so big. Or in very tall grass, because the way they acted, it act, they acted very weird. They didn't act like they normally do on the short grass. Then, all the sheep and stuff got to meet the alpacas for the first time. So that got very interesting, with the alpacas running and the sheep not ever seeing an alpaca before. So they had a big game at tag. They'd run up behind one, and one would take off running, and then they'd stop, look at each other, and then they'd do it again. It was just very interesting. The maniacs didn't care much for anybody, but the Codsworth were kind of questioning about the alpacas. Although they were a lot bigger than the alpacas, wide s size, but the alpacas are taller. But the maniacs didn't care for anything. They just wanted to eat. The Codsworth liked to explore. And Juno and Charlie wanted to get to know everybody. They stood there and it almost like they were talking, but I wasn't for sure. Then once we turned out then we turned out the Withers, Rod the Withered and Gores, Camille and Roger. They all just went to town and eating grass. They didn't care about anybody else. Roger wanted to explore and find holes and everything in the fence. The cod then we shared the Codsworth. That got very interesting. It was hard to do because it was so matted. That's all the fleece that was all over. There's lots of it. Mom had a very funny hat on. We called it Little House on the Prairie style. I said it was very funny looking. But it kept the sun off of her. Even though we sheared them in the shade. After we had them all sheared, they all liked to lay down in, in the shade out back behind the door. So maybe... Some nights I'll be able to come out and see them just laying out there. That'd be pretty fun to see. It took us a while to shear them because they had so much. We think one's pregnant because she was uh, had a bag on her. Mom videotaped me and Dad cleaning up after we uh, made the mess. I had to get up all the shearing tools and Dad had to get up all the fleece, which was not usable because they were. It was so matted and felted. I don't think they'd been sheared in maybe two years, but then mom vid we videotaped the chicks that we let a hen sit on. We let her sit, and she hatched out five chicks, and all she does is if the cats try to get them, she'll flog them. The ducks are come around, and she tries to flog them too. I think they think they're ducks, because they like to get in the water, but they're fun to watch. You get to see the mama hen get uh, beat up on everything else. And she has a good excuse to it. The ducks that mom got us babies are growing up. The big white ones were the first batch she got. And then the little, uh, littler black ones are the second batch. And we still have a third batch at the house. Well, with feeding time, we fed everybody. And the goats decided they were jumping up in the feed trough. And they were, we're going to feed the alpacas in. And we set out little pans with for the goats, but they didn't want them. They just wanted to get up in the big feed trough. All of that is pasture out there. You can barely see the fence line, but you can, but it's right out there almost to the edge. And they still never leave the lots. It's almost like they just want to stay forever. But it's fun to watch. Thanks for watching this video cast, and see you all next time. In other news, we have ready news. I have one more ready in my flying cow series. After that, we'll be able to see how I did and then have a banquet so my mom can get off work. In 4-H news, I'm running for county president and, any, and if I don't get that office, any other offices that they'll let me. For school issues, we're wrapping up the year, trying to get things done and get it all ready for next year.
survivor update as you saw the cots world in the video I got them and I got them shared this is a small sample of what I can pick there and find out of that fiber that's any good I'm really looking forward to having some good yarn out of them next year there's some really nice crimp and I think people are going to like it for entertainment I have the DVD The Andy Griffin Show that we're going to watch I've been watching Cisco Kid and Bonanza and I have the book The Red Pony Mom's gonna make me read it. Sounds okay, but not real interested in me. Like me, but mom says I have to read it, so that's what I'm gonna do. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed.